this a matchup for the UFC welterweight division title? Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. McGregor is three years his senior. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 24 wins, one loss. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Macpac, Russia, presenting the challenger, Islam Bokachev. And now, introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion. All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official.
right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Ball collar tie. Nice. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The oh, and he's got one here. So, fire a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Fight numbers for you now. 29 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Oh, and that is a pinpoint left hand right there for McGregor. It is his best strike, and it's because he knows exactly where he needs to be in the octagon to land that left hand over and over again. Oh, and there he goes, working off that jab. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. Beautiful. Oh, oh he's right over the top, and now his opponent in a world trap. Beautiful left change. They can think of going over to right over the top in that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Left hand punch. Both fighters throwing heat now. Strong work with the inside leg kick. That's a big hook. He went high on that one. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Back to his feet. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Well, and with authority, Goes to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. And they separate. Just misses with the jab. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. On one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by McGregor. All right, so another swing and a miss. And I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you got to find times to double leg here. So inside the open guard of his opponent. Gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the High level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's got the hooks in DC working off of his back. Now look 
for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. And now he's got the top punch. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Position change. Wow, what a transition. McGregor's got the full mount. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Well, you got to think frustration is starting to set in on the other side as he lands another takedown. And he knew he was going to get a lot of this offensive wrestling, as yet he's been unable to stop. He has not been able to stop it, and it's a different wrestling. It's a Damian Maya type of wrestling, where they get close to you. They hook their feet, they drag you to the mat, knowing that once you're on the ground, now you're really in trouble. Because the takedown is only a part of the danger, the true danger. He's hurt, he's hurt. Look at that, he left up and landed the diving punch to the head. Gets up again here, but hurt. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Ready, fight. Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. He's got the feet on the hips now, DC, in a pretty good position to get out, I would think, if he so chooses. Absolutely. This is the ideal position for escaping. Now, you're not... Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Now goes in and secures the takedown. for the UFC welterweight champion as he wins the belt with a knockout victory. He had some doubters coming in here tonight. Those people are pretty quiet right now. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at one minute of the third round. Playing the winner by knockout and still. So the notorious Conor McGregor gets it done yet again. There is no doubt his future is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is inside this octagon and still getting the job done. Dealt this man at your own peril. It seems no matter the challenge, Conor McGregor finds